what is happening is an extortion. Excuse me. Do not argue with the court. Oh my god! <laughs> very latest on a story that is dominating the headlines. Republican Congressman Matt Gates is under investigation by the Justice Department over an alleged sexual relationship with a 17-year-old girl. But Gates claims he's actually the victim of an extortion plot. Watch this. The New York Times is running a story that I have traveled with a 17-year-old woman, and that is verifiably false. People can look at my travel records and see that that is not the case. What is happening is an extortion of me and my family involving a former Department of Justice official. David Martosco joins us now from his home in Virginia with the very latest. David. Well, Thomas, let's start with Gates's most explosive claim. The Florida congressman says David McGee, a former Justice Department attorney, tried to extort millions from him to bury what he calls horrible sex trafficking allegations. Then the New York Times reported that Gates is, in fact, linked with an investigation into possible sex trafficking of a minor. And it was the Trump Justice Department that launched the probe. They're now saying that Gates dated a 17-year-old girl. Now, he's been the subject of presidential buzz. He's also talked about leaving Congress for a job on the conservative Newsmax TV network. He hasn't been indicted, and he insists none of his former girlfriends were underage. But now reporters smell blood in the water, so this saga is getting messier and messier. That's fine. That's fine, mate. Um, that, that, that is it. My brother's got a computer. I've never used it. My sister's got a, got a laptop. I've typed on Word. I went a couple times to help my girlfriend out of her university for mm. some statement. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I'm not sure. chained to this fence because I believe our state and city officials have failed to build a relationship with the community since the death of George Floyd last May. This trial is about the value of a man's life, the value of a black man's life in American society. And it's representative of where we at, where we are at in this country um, with our race relations. It's time for a change. And people know this. And people need to start coming out and showing it. We are outside the hearing of the jury, Ms. Hanson. I'm advising you, do not argue with counsel, and specifically, do not argue with the court. Is I, the I camera there? Are the cameras on? No, they are not. We are on the record. Okay. You will not argue with the court. 
you will not argue with counsel. Mm -hmm. They have the right to ask questions. Your job is to answer them. I was finishing my answer. I will determine when your answer is done. Okay, well. And so, do not argue with the court. Do not argue with counsel. Answer the questions. Do not volunteer information that is not requested. The attorneys for the state have redirect. They can ask you questions if they think that certain things were left out. Okay. It is counsel's prerogative to ask you leading questions and for you to answer those and not volunteer additional information. Okay. Are we clear on this? We're clear. Thank you. Come back tomorrow at 9.30. All right. Do we have the person with the cell phone? Estos lagos fruta eran antes inmensos, se, se podía pescar, se podía hacer cualquier cosa. Criaban aves mismos aquí había, ahora están muriendo las aves también. Por la contaminación, por todas las cosas que están pasando.
Ha, 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 ha.